Welcome to Cherry Pop. Today we're going to be doing Flesh for Frankenstein. We're in the middle of the disheveled movie marathon and I have dubbed Friday Franken Friday. What better way to pop that cherry than to watch Flesh for Frankenstein? I've been wanting to watch this one for a while. As a matter of fact, Trent and I were wanting to do like a double feature type thing where we would watch Fresh for Frankenstein and another movie that I will be watching uh, doing a cherry pop later this month. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but I will give you a little hint. Devil inside, devil inside, every single one of us, the devil inside. Paul Morrissey is bringing us his version of Frankenstein. I really liked Blood for Dracula. I really did. But it was a little, little weird. Like even the main character. If you if you watched our uh, horror buddies Thanksgiving uh, video a couple years ago, you, you'll know that main character was like, is he supposed to be a hero? Is he not? I don't know. You decide. Let me know down in the comments. But will I enjoy this one? Let's find out. I've got my pop, and I'm ready to watch. So. But before anything else, can I just say, Udo is a beautiful man. He is, he is beautiful. His performance was awesome. His eyes. Mm. And, I mean, just like Blood for Dracula, it is, um, it's a very questionable movie. There are things, taboo things going on in it. It's just like, what? But it's it's fun. And in the the movie had that, you know, 70s gonzo. Even even though it really wasn't gonzo because you know, this film just like Blood for Dracula had like, you know, a narrative going through. Udo's character, Baron Frankenstein, wanted to take a a male zombie and a female zombie and have them breed him some kids. So that's that's what you got going on here and um i absolutely loved it i didn't like it quite as much as blood for dracula probably but i i enjoy the hell out of it my favorite kill is that beautiful decap scene i mean that was that was awesome when the baron messes himself while he's getting in the guts that was very um very good job there udo that's some good acting you had going there that was that was cool there are some some lines in this movie like you know bring to life fucking the gallbladder what o okay those damn peeping tom kids were cracking me up that was so strange it was like what the fuck them kids are watching again <laughs> it was it was it was cracking me up when the baron was we'll just say all up in those guts specifically that gallbladder that scene was just wrong <laughs> that was like what yeah yeah so if if you're into weird fucking movies uh if you're into beautiful dudes like udo um the lady and, and when i when i call them zombies it's because what they call them in the movie you know they call them zombies so you know that's just, it but the, the lady zombie was uh she was very very nice look out as well the frankenstein's monster look was uh, ah, it was pretty lame i mean, let's be honest i mean it was you know the scarring was really cool and and Otto, what you were doing to lady frankenstein there wow bro wow if you've seen the movie you know what i'm saying I, i'm not gonna spoil that but bro wow <laughs> even though it is maybe a little spoiler for me even saying it that way but it wow guys have you seen this movie let me know down in the comments what you thought of the movie also what do you think of blood for dracula thank you guys for watching 
please give me a like. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Man, I am so close to 250. You know, 500, here we come, right? I mean, we can do this. So, if you're watching my videos, please just subscribe. And as always, stay spooky and keep it disheveled.